What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at the Curry Cup Final, which is going to be played on the 30th of January between the Sharks and the Bulls from Pretoria. The match is taking place in Pretoria uh, at Loftus Versfeld, which has been dubbed as the Fortress again by Jake White. So um, yeah, it should be a enterprising game of rugby it's been a long time since a curry cup was played in south africa or well, the final was played at least and it's yeah it's a really good thing that we can have rugby going you know in these covid times and all that sort of thing like i've mentioned before it's just awesome to see that rugby still being played in january which is the off season i mean we're basically coming into the new season this time of year but uh, it is just good to see that rugby is able to be played in these times. So, without further ado, why not have a look at the teams for this weekend's anticipated match? Well, I don't know if it's anticipated. I don't know if you're all going to watch it, but I'm going to watch it. So, looking at the Bulls side for this weekend's match, at Lucid Prop, we have Lisot Popoka with Johan Grobler at hooker and the tremendous Trevor Nyakane at tight end prop. Looking at the locks, we've got Sintu Manjezi and Ruan Nokia, with blind side flank being Marco van Staden, Ulrich Lloyd open side flank and Dwayne Vermeulen captain at number eight. Dwayne Vermeulen, he's a bit like MTN. He's everywhere you go. Ivan van Sel takes up the scrum half role for the Bulls. He has basically replaced um, Ambrose Papier in the starting lineup. Um, Ambrose was Jake's man at the beginning of the Super Rugby Unlocked season, but it seems to have switched. Mornay Stein at fly half, Stravino Jacobs at 11, with Cornel Hendricks at inside center, with Marco Janssen van Furen at outside center. Kurt Lee Aronser is at the right wing, number 14, and David Creel starting at fullback. Having a look now at their bench, they've got uh, Skalki Rasmus at 16 with Jacques van Rooyen, Mornay Smith, Jan Ace, Arno Boerta, Ambrose Papier, like I mentioned earlier, Chris Smith, fantastic player. Marnus Potrita at thirteen, taking up the at twenty three. Sorry, taking up the last spot on the bench. Having a look at the shark side now at uh, loose head prop, we've got Oxen Chair, Hooker is Fezumbata, and Thomas Detoy starting at tight head prop. JJ van der Mesh and Ruben van Heerden are the locks for the Sharks, with Dylan Richardson at blind side, Henku Fenter at open side, and Sikubuzo Noche at number 8. Noche used to play for Western Province, as did half of the Sharks side. But let's not get into that. At scrum half for the Sharks, they've gone with Jaden Hendrickser and Kerwin Bosch at number 10. Yao Penge at 11 on the left wing with Martin Slo at inside center. Marius Slo, sorry. And Lucanio Am at outside center. He's the captain of the Sharks. Sabun Kosi on the right wing and Apalele Fasi at fullback for the Sharks. Looking at their bench, they've gone with Dan Yosta, Mzamo Majola, Michael Kumbarai, Hiron Andrews, Tembelani Boli. Senele Nohamba, Jeremy Ward, and Mani Libok taking up the last spot on the bench for the Sharks. So how did these sides stack up? Um, pretty well, actually, especially if you're looking at the, the Bulls. They've got a very experienced lineup. Looking at the likes of Dwayne Vermeulen in this side, Trevor Nyakane in this side, um, Marku van Staden, Ivan van Sale's been around for quite a while now, Mourne Stain, my word. The man's old and he's playing. I mean, he's still playing really well, so give him that. Cornell Hendricks as well brings a wealth of experience at inside center. He used to play wing, but I think he will add a lot of value with his crash ball and his physicality running the lines at inside center. And then looking at the shark side, they also, I mean, they've got some big names there themselves. They've got, uh, obviously, Lucanio Am. He is a tremendous player at outside center. Sabun Kosi on the wing. 
unreal talent. They've got Yao Peng at 11. He is also amazing. He came from the Kings and what a snatch up for the Sharks because he's definitely going to be a future Springbok. So he's already scored a brace of tries for them in this season. He hasn't even been with them for that long. I think only about 8 to 10 games. And he scored quite a number of tries. Looking at some of their forwards, um, notable mentions are Dylan Richardson at number 6. Unreal talent. He's also really young, so he should have quite a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully he doesn't get snatched up by an overseas, an overseas club. Um, it would be nice to see him staying in South Africa and playing for the Bucks one day. JJ van der Mesh as well, really good player at lock for them. And then looking at their four, at their front row, Oxen Chair, Fezo Mbata, and Thomas Dutoy, unreal players themselves. So, yeah, looking as well at their loose trio, Sikobuzo Noche, unreal talent. He's just so physical with ball in hand. Um, his vision on defense as well, big tackler. Um it's going to be good for the Sharks to have him there. Him up against Dwayne Vermeulen, quite a matchup. I mean, they almost look like they're two, two completely different positions that they play. Um, Dwayne is like quite a unit. I mean, so is Noche, but Dwayne is like a real unit. So maybe uh, they'll use Noche in more of like a fetcher role and maybe more... Or, just physical and on defense with Dwayne more as a, like a crash ball player. Not a hundred percent sure, but uh, Dwayne does like those pick and goes off the back of scrums. Uh, Notch is a very hard runner of the ball. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes as well. Apelele Fassi at 15. Amazing. Uh, real quick player, good ball skills and good footwork as well. So, we might see some hot steps on the weekend from him. And then on the bench as well, Mani Libok. He used to play for the Bulls, actually. And he is now on the bench for the Sharks. Jeremy Ward, he's quite versatile. He can play at fly half. He can cover the center role as well. So that's a good option to have. Sunele Nohamba, uh, reserve, fly half, um, re reserve scrum half. He used to be the starting scrum half, I think, so as well. He is... Just amazing. He's also definitely got a bright future in SA Rugby. So it would be nice to see him in the green and the gold one day. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I just wanted to do a quick little introduction uh, for this match. My predictions, it's going to be a close one. I think the Bulls will take it. The bookmakers have the Bulls by 12 points. Um... Will it be that big? I don't know. They are playing at Loftus Fersfeld, so it is at altitude. Does that really make a difference these days? I don't think so. All the athletes are so fit in any case, so I don't think that's much of a factor anymore, to be honest. I think the Bulls will take it. Not by 12. I'm going to say Bulls by 7. Could be wrong, but I'm going to say Bulls by 7. Um, who knows? The Sharks could also just arrive on the day and deliver an outstanding performance. The last time these two teams met, the Sharks did win. They scored right at the death with Yao Pen um, dotting it down, I think, in extra time. That was on the 17th of December, I think, so it was about six weeks ago. Um, yeah, great game as well. Hopefully this game isn't like the semifinals were last week. Those were quite stop and start and almost boring rugby on display so hopefully i know it's a final but hopefully these two teams do you know light the field up and um give us a real good display of rugby to um to look back on because we're not going to have some rugby here now for quite a while and uh yeah hopefully this is a good ending to the season anyway that's it for today's video like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one cheers